uh, for this morning. Tomorrow night, it's for snow for everybody into Saturday too. So, so those so mild temperatures go. that we had, you know, weeks and weeks ago. It'll be nice though, temperature-wise. Winter, right? Yeah, you know what? It's going to actually turn out to be mild. Uh, the, the March sun, it can do a good job of masking a cold air yeah, mass. Good. Like even yesterday, we got into the lower 40s, but then when we had a few showers, it was like these little sleep pellets and yeah. a little bit of snow. So a lot of cold place. air aloft. But we actually moderated overnight last night. So now we just have a little cold air left. It's right at the surface. So actually the rain is falling. And then in some spots, particularly those in elevated areas, that's where we're seeing those of us, uh, in, say like Worthington and Blandford, that's where we're seeing a little bit of freezing rain. In Springfield, we have a temperature of 34. And we have a lot of mid-30s in the valley. So it's just like a cold rain this morning. But certainly allow for some extra time. Visibilities are down in spots. We have some puddling on area roadways as well. But the pink that you see here, this is where we're seeing a little bit of freezing rain. And it seems to be elevation dependent. Hilltowns, higher terrain of Franklin, Hampshire, and Hamden County, and uh, Worcester County, too, uh, north of Worcester, out towards Gardner, along Route 2, if you travel, so do take you that way. It's in the 30s in the valley, mid-30s, in the 30s everywhere, but notice some spots, Charlemont and Worthington, and in between these observation sites, particularly above 1,500 feet, we have lots of icy conditions, so that will be the case probably through about mid-morning. Then temps come up, the wind will pick up, and we will dry out, so that by this afternoon, we're going to see some sunshine. We'll be between 45 and 50. Now, overnight tonight, we fall down into the 20s while cold air moves in at the surface. It also moves in aloft. So tomorrow we get to 40, but then when precipitation arrives tomorrow evening, it's going to pull down that cold air to the surface. So it'll be cold enough that it will be a wet snow tomorrow evening after dark into tomorrow night. The wild card in all of this is do we get any mixing with this storm system or even go over to plain rain in the lower valley? I think the bulk of this is probably going to end up being that pasty wet snow tomorrow night and on into Saturday. This is the system moving through now. It's actually a front not associated with tomorrow night storm. This is going to move out tomorrow. However, the front extends all the way down into the Gulf Coast states and moisture comes in out of the Gulf Coast states, moves towards the Great Lakes, and then we get redevelopment offshore, which will lock in at least enough cold air that at least part of the system will indeed be in the form of snow. So this takes us through the day tomorrow. Tomorrow will start with sun, clouds increase in the afternoon, and then probably after dark, snow will overspread the area. Look what this model does. As low pressure winds up here and develops and slides to the east, it keeps that wind coming in out of the northeast. That would lock in the cold air, and that would add to the storm system in terms of moisture as well. So this is 11 o'clock tomorrow night. It's all blue across Western Mass, while we have the pink indicating some sleet freezing rain down towards Hartford, and then we have rain down towards New York City, where it's going to absolutely pour out down there, or maybe even a thunderstorm. But this area of low pressure tracks to the east, so it's locking in that cold air. We're going to be right on the fence for a few hours tomorrow night into Saturday whether or not we go over to a mix. So bottom line here is I think we're going to see at least a few inches in the valley and more to the north and to the west. So snow develops tomorrow night. Let's say between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. I think we'll squeeze in the evening commute. The snow will come down perhaps moderate to heavy at times tomorrow night, and there'll be some mixing perhaps at the height of the storm tomorrow night into Saturday morning. It'll be that pasty snow, so it kind of gloms on to everything. Sometimes it has a difficult time sticking, but it's coming in at night, so we don't have to, the, the uh, sun, so to speak, warming the surface up. Uh, and on top of that, the wind is going to start to pick up out of the north and northeast. That's more so on Saturday in the morning as the storm system begins to move on out. So piecing that all together, we're thinking probably at least three in Springfield up to Northampton. And then on the high end, maybe three to six. The hill towns where it stays all snow, particularly northern Berkshire County and Franklin County. And it's a little powdery in nature. It can pile up a little bit better, perhaps a half a foot to as much as 10 inches. The further south you go, the less snow. And there it is. On Saturday, I think it snows in the morning, but by about mid-morning, we're, we're, in terms of accumulation, we're done. We're starting to get some melting, and roads will get wet once they're plowed away. Temps in the mid-30s, and then a lot of 40s next week, maybe a flurry on Sunday, and a few rain or snow showers on Tuesday. All right, now the check of the forecast in a few minutes. Amanda and David, back over to you. Ben, thank you. Well, happening today, MGM's